It's the look and sound that draws you near. Haunted houses aren't known for being big money makers, but money is the key here because it's for charity and getting it to look right isn't easy. I'm going to be about another 30 minutes. The hours are long. We get you as many breaks as we can. Sometimes it's frustrating. Put you in clown. No, no, no. How many people is in clown? None of us up here, except for our security, of course, are making any money whatsoever. There is a payoff. It's not the sound effects or special effects. It's children. All proceeds from the haunting experience help bring screams of joy. Let's see. Our first and foremost is our Christmas shopping tour. We give underprivileged children Christmas every year. It takes 25 to 50 people a night to make the JC's haunted house happen. $3,000 a night to run it. The makeup alone costs $1,500, and it's becoming harder and harder to compensate because of the shorter lines of customers. Our financial goals are, are there, and we are falling shorter and shorter on, on our finances. We have seen years where we have where we've raised almost $100,000. We have seen years in the last five years, we've seen a steady de decrease in revenue. The charity's cause will survive, but if the revenue continues to decrease, the investment after the face paint is removed could have a low return. And in times like this, operating a haunted house isn't necessarily easy. In fact, this house has seen its fair share of customers, 1.2500 a night. This year, the haunted house hasn't even seen 1,000 customers in one night. In Birmingham, Christopher Sign, ABC 3340.